Hi everyone, uh, we'll talk about the first component of off-grid PV system. So we have the first component, uh, photovoltaic panels. Okay, actually we have two, uh, uh, two kinds, the main kind, common kind, we use them in the industry and uh, in many applications. The first one is monocrystalline photovoltaic cell and the second one polycrystalline photovoltaic cell or the multicrystalline photovoltaic cell. So okay. Now we have this this monocrystalline and actually this is more difficult to produce this this the the monocrystalline than polycrystalline. So and it's actually it's it's a little bit like more expensive than the polycrystalline, and it's more efficient than poly, uh, polycrystalline cells. Okay, now what about the polycrystalline or the multicrystalline? It's actually it's, it's a little bit cheaper, and it's less efficient more uh, than uh, than more monocrystalline cells for the same size. It has a temperature coefficient which is better than the uh, monocrystalline. Okay. Now, uh, this is the photo photovoltaic uh, uh, cell, and then if we connect them together, we will get the panel. And if we put the panel, the pa the panels together, we'll get a array like this. Okay, let us, let us make it easy. So we have this uh, photovoltaic cell, and actually, this give us like around 0.5 volts. So we we can like we can uh, say that it's similar for uh, a battery, which which give us a, a DC voltage. So, but this battery or this photovoltaic cell give us around 0.5 volt DC volt and it has terminals which is the positive which is the plus and minus the negative terminal and the positive terminal so okay now if I want to connect for example three solar cells together so I have to connect the positive terminal with the negative ter terminal and it's the same over here so positive with the negative the positive with the negative so I will get like a bigger solar cell for example I mean just to simplify everything which has 1.5 volt positive terminal and negative terminal Okay, if I want to connect them like together, I will connect them in series, not in parallel. Actually, so I have to co to co uh, to add and to like the point five to this point five and to this point five. So I will get one point five volt. So in this, let us look at this connection. So this is like the positive in the top I will connect it with the negative in the bottom over here and in the same method and in the same way I will connect the second one with the third one the positive in the top with the negative in the bottom so I will, I will get like here like a big battery which is 1.5 volt positive terminal and the negative terminal okay I have over here four so uh, photovoltaic cells I connect them in series so I will get now each one each one give us 0.5 volt so V1 for the solar cell one the first one and the second one, the third one, the fourth one, like each one give uh, each one give me um, a 0.5 volt. So the 
total output. So the total out was gonna be V1 plus V2, V3, V4 because they are connected in series. So I will get 2 volt as a total. And in the same idea. And in the same way, this, this is a series connection. So the current in each one will equal the total current so I total is gonna be equal for I1 and equal I2 I3 and I4 for example this the current is 6 amps in each one I1 6 so I2 should be 6 and I3 should be 6 amps and the I total should be 6 amps Okay, now here's the connection. Actually, to get a panel, so a photovoltaic panel, we need solar cells connect, connected in series. So let us see this connection. So we connect like these solar cells in series in this way. Watch this. And finally, we have two terminals, positive and negative. And, okay, we have in this panel 36 cells. And each one, for example, like, we will give like, okay, let us uh, assume that uh, the voltage for each one is 0.5. Give me in the standard conditions. So, the total voltage that this panel gives me is gonna be 18 volt so and this is the photo for the real panel okay actually this is the solar pan solar panel and this solar panel over here and each one should have a label in the back so let us see this label which is the name we play to give me uh, a lot of information about this photo uh, about this photovoltaic panel so actually these these numbers okay this under the standard condition which is 1000 watt per meter square and air mag air mass 1.5 and temperature so it, will be 25 Celsius so now here this the uh, the maximum power that I will give from this for example this photovoltaic panel one a hundred watts and the voltage at the maximum power is gonna be 17.9 volts and the current and the maximum power gonna be 5.59 amps the uh, the uh, open circuit voltage 22.41 volt and the short circuit current 6.2 amps so and we will talk about this information we'll talk more about these things later thanks